Do you happen okay. to know this kanji? Yes. Um, wa arau. Hi, wash. arau. Yep, arau to wash. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Sentence. Uh, ihe tai. Ihe tai wa te o arau da. Hi. So it's not e. What sound is it? Eh, eh, what does the sentence mean? What about that? Meaning the the um, the troops of soldier tell what I washes their hands. Wash their hands. Wash Do you know what this kanji hand. is? Kanji sui uh, mizu. Yep, mizu and sui when it's married. Do you know how to put arau into imperative form, which is like you better, you better wash. Imperative arau 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 arau. Is it? So, ro is imperative form for do verbs. However, arau is a u verb. For u verbs, you replace the final u sound with e. So it becomes arae. But you're correct. Ro is imperative form. So, ro and e are the two imperative forms. So, like, taberu would be taberu. Arae. Arae. Can you read the sentence for me? Mizu de karada o arae. Hi. With water washes the body. So it's wash the body with water. Yes. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Sho cho shaku. Good. Very close. Hi. Cho shaku. Which is a breakfast meal. Hi. So it ended with shoku. What did it start with? Uh, start with cho. Hi, cho shoku. Can you read the sentence for me? Cho shoku o tabe ni ike. Go to have. Go to have breakfast. Yep, go to eat breakfast. Nice. Okay, do you know what sumu means with this kanji? Su sumu is to level. Not really to level. I mean, maybe that's one of the meanings. Um, There's multiple different kinds of sumus. This sumu right here means to finish. To finish. Sumu. Sumu. To finish. Hi. Can you read our sentence from the book then? Kono mizu de karada o arae sore ga sunda. Shikani shita ni. Um. Uh, cho shoku o tabe ni kuru ga yo. Kuru ga yo. So, washes your body with this water. Sore ga sunda. That finish, finish it. Yep. That is finished. That is finished. Below. Go below. And have breakfast and come back. Perfect. So the, the kudu in this context is that probably nobody is going to be below where breakfast is. So basically saying, once you wash yourself, come to me and have breakfast. 
that's where it's kuru to come versus iku which would be to go so if he said um tabeni iku that would insinuate go where i am not basically go eat food somewhere that i am not going to be there so with the kuru kuru we're insinuating that nobody will be in the below location perhaps also eating um breakfast hi what about the guy yo I didn't really think about the Google, like what the grammar is here. Ga is normally kind of like a but, but the, in general, this is like a little weird sentence how it's like sunda, comma, even though it's not sundara, which would be a little bit more appropriate doing um when, when you're done. Instead, it just says you're done, period. This, so I, I feel like this is like a little bit of old man Japanese. You don't really see this very often, some kind of speech thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't actually Google the grammar for that. So um, I could do that in the future and I'll let you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Hi. we saw cho shoku. Then this one up here is asa meshi. So kind of confusing because rather than pronouncing as cho, it's going to be pronounced as asa. Um, Hi. This word right here means room and it starts with he. Do you happen to know how it ends? He ya. Yeah. Perfect. He ya. Yeah. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Um Asa meshi da da date yata. It's a there's breakfast. Uh wonderful. Perfect. Specifically with the te, he's kind of requoting him, saying, "You said there's breakfast," and then it's kind of what the te is saying. You said that. Waka waka. Uh, next is meo kosuru. This is to rub your eyes, and this is a uber. So R plus u. Rub your eyes. What's missing from this word? Starts with ya. Yeah. I mean, ends with ya. Yeah. Hey. Yep. What does heya mean? Heya mean a a room. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. Heya o datta dorobo dorobo wa me o kosuta. Me o kosuta. Kosuta. Kosu. Kosu. Hi. So that was a new word we just popped up right here, which is me o kosuru, which is an u verb. This means to rub your eyes. To rub. To rub the eyes. Right. So kosuru is to rub in general. Kosuru to scrub, to scrape. Um, before that, you read this right here as data. However, data would have a glottal stop in it. So, data. Dasu. Dasu is um, uh, dasta. Yes, this is data. It's a de. From deru. deru. Yep, deru is data. And das is dasta. Sorry, I said, there's no uh, dasta for that. So yeah, let's go read it again yeah. with deru. So heya o deta dorobo wa me o kosuta. The thief rubbed the the thief that appear it, it the thief that appear in the room rub his eyes. Wait, I gotta... right um it means to um leave the room in this context so to leave I... the room. yeah i was like i'm pretty sure i was like eh, gotta double check real quick hey yo did that uh it's to appear from the room so the room is like your exiting location <laughs> uh yeah so that that's definitely like so weird to wrap your hand around the exit the room yes so the thief that left 
So yeah, the thief that left the room rubbed his eyes. Um, can you read this word? Oki agaru. Hi. So this is an u verb. So r plus u, and this means. What do you think oki agaru means? Oki agaru means. Have you ever heard okiru? Okiru is to wake up. It can be to wake up, right? yep. And how about agaru? You can have this kanji. Agaru is, is it not to raise up? Yes. So just like in English, you can say to get up when you're getting out of bed, right? <laughs> Oki agaru. Get out of bed. So, so to wake Oki up, agaru. to get up. Can you read the sentence yeah. for me? Oki agaru agatta. Dorobo wa heya o deta. The thief that woke up exited the room. Hi. The thief that got up exited the room. Um, next is mekuru, which means to take something off. Mekuru, which is also an u verb. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Meo kosuta. Kozo wa mofu o meguta. Hi. And we say that meguta was take to off. Uh, take off the little boy. That rubs his eyes took off the blanket. Hi, perfect. And totan is the right when that occurred. Totan. So yeah, let's go read the line from the book. Neburi ga heyao detta totan. Ore wa me o kosuri. Mofu o me kute oki agata. Neburi left the room. Then, right after, I rubs my eyes. And then, I remove the blanket. Could that? Then I wake up. Okay. Well, he then I gets get out of up. bed. I get up. Yeah, like to get out of bed. Perfect. Nice. Do you happen to know this kanji? So it's chiku, chikuzuku. It actually gets a little con here to chikazuku from chikai. Chika do you happen to know what chikazuku means? This is a verb. Chikazuku is to get closer to Hi. something. Exactly. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Teburu no ue no tarai ni chikazuita or chikazuita. Tarai is that basin. Hi, hi, hi. So the basin, towards the basin on top of the table. Yep. I approach towards the basin on top of the table. Yep, I approach toward the basin on top of the table. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Some old no. kanji here. Tsumetai, tsumetai uh, finger, yubi. Yep. Tsumetai yubi o tarai ni. Sukonda. Sukonda is to continue. Good guess. That's Suzuku. Tsukomu is to poke and then into, right? Komu. So the freezing fingers, Hi. the cold fingers, I place the cold finger into the bathtub, into the Hi. tub. I poke my cold fingers into the tub. Perfect. 
Um, so earlier we saw this exact same kanji could be pronounced as um sumetai. It has a different reading if we're doing it into a verb. Do you happen to know what reading that is? I do not. It is he. So hieru. 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 So hieru is to grow cold, to get chilly, to do the chilliness. Okay, so let's go read our text, our lines from the book. Karada o arae latte table no tarai ni chigazuki. Yubi o ippon sukonde mita oa hitai. Good guess. This one right here is still the adjective. So, hi. Ishita. Ishita rami. Hai ni hieteru. Perfect. So, this ippon right here is the counter for one long um, cylinder like object, such like a yubi. So first off, what do you think this first line is? Karada o arai datte? To wash the body? That's, That's the order. Referring to that thing. Kind of. So this right here, this te in this context is referring to something that someone else said. He's quoting somebody right here. So in English, you might be like, you say, wash your body is my how you might translate that he's basically like saying so never like wash your body and he's repeating that in his head basically you want me to wash my body wash my body you say um Hi. and then what's the next thing that happens i approach the chikazuki i approach the Basin on top of the table, or the basin of the table. Well, on top, and, it does say the basin of the table, you're right. <laughs> the basin of the table, and one finger, I, I place one finger, I poke with one finger to to try it. Hi, hi, hi. To meet that. Perfect. How, what's it like? Yep. And then I say, wow. Uh, mitai, it's cold. Sumitai! How cold? And it say, Ishitara mitai, like frozen uh, stone or something. Good guess. Ichitara mi is the cobble, the cobblestone. So, like the cobble hi. It's as cold as the um, cobblestones or the, the so road. Ichite as cold as a cobblestone. Hi. Perfect. Okay, now we're doing a little kanji check. How do you read this word? One moment. Asa no. Choshoku. Perfect. How about this guy? Asa meshi. Perfect. Nice. And how about this kanji? Deta. Perfect. And what does meo kosuri mean? Meo kosuri mean to rub the eyes. Perfect. And what's this word? Karada o um, arae. Perfect. And how about this one? This one is... Chikazuki. Perfect. And our last one is this guy. Sume. Mm -mm. Hi Hieteru. Perfect. Okay, so our next kanji is ban, which is night. Ban. You know what it's kino night. means? Kino is yesterday. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Oh, all right. One second.
No, read the sentence for me. Kinono ban sono table ni suwata. Right. Suwata is to sit. Yep. Is that right? Yep, sat. So suwata is to sat on that table yesterday evening. Yes. So here, this knee is kind of like de, but you don't use, so it's the sit at the table in English rather than on the table. Um, you'd have to do table no ue. Table no ue ni suwata would be sitting on the table. It, it just, that that's more like what table, I guess, kind of insinuates in Japanese. <laughs> so it just means like at the location of the table versus being, sorry, on it. So, you know, when you sit at a table, your legs kind of go underneath it. So you're like at the same location might be how you can think about it. <laughs> Yes. Um. So, do you happen to know this kanji? Onaji. Onaji. Perfect. Onaji. What does it mean? It means similar to or the same as. Hi. Onaji is the same. So, similar would be a word we saw before on our first time we had a lesson, which was um, mitteru. So that's how they're different. Onaji is the same. Mitteru is similar. Okay. Let's go the read the sentence. Kino no ban to onachi table ni asam choshoku ga atta. So in this case, the, to is the modifier for onachi. To is the modifier for onachi. Like the Meaning, and. Uh, and. But it wouldn't be translated yes, the, as and in this context, I think, for English. But that that's why that to is used. It's the and to. Because onaji takes and. It's a comparison word. The food on the table, or the food at the table was the same as yesterday night. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Onaji. So yeah. Here. We'd probably more natural say ue here or something. Table in the. Okay. So let's go read our line from the book. Asameshi o tebe ni tabe ni arite itara neburi wa kino no ban to onaji table ni suwate ita. Hai. Uh, breakfast. So the first sentence, this first clause, you might use I as the subject. Or as I orite itara, meaning as I sit down, as I lower myself. Hi. Right? So oriru doesn't really mean the sit. It means to descend. Descend. So um, I... they're right now. They're in a diner. That the top part of the diner has rooms so the main character Khan was like sleeping over here in a blanket and then he and then nobody was like wash yourself and then come down for for um breakfast and he's like so the main character though he gets up and he pokes inside the wash van and he's like "Ooh, that's cold so instead of washing himself he um so tara in this case would be when so what did I, he do? So when I descend down to eat breakfast. Hi, exactly. When I descended down to eat bre breakfast, what was Neburi doing? Neburi was kino no banto onaji. Kino, yes, yesterday. Neburi was suwate ita. He was sitting at the table. Uh the same as yesterday hi so, specific, so specifically he's sitting in the exact same table he sat on last night rather than sitting in a different location in this um restaurant hi do you happen to know this kanji kanji this is to drink something no hi, hi. No. no perfect can you read the sentence for me Machutsushi wa kabe ni 
金色の絵の杖を立てかけた。はい。立て、stand up かけた is Not sure what that means, but to、mm. rely on. And he s t a n d up using、uh, with the、guess. support of the golden cane. So, tate, tate, tate kakeru is to stand up, but it's to stand something up. To stand something else up. Okay. Yep. So, he s t a n d his cane with the golden knob, the, the handle up on the golden handle. Against the wall. Exactly. Perfect. Magician is the、yep. one that's doing this. Exactly. Can you read this at this for me? Chu. Chu Nin. Good guess. It's Jean in this context. Chu Jean. Chu Jean wa nani ka o nonda. The owner. Drink or drank something. Perfect. Nice. Do you have to know this kanji? Ocha. Hai cha. What does ocha mean? Ocha, I think, refer to、um, just tea, any kind、yep. of tea. Tea. Perfect. Okay, let's go read our next line then. Isu ni suwata higure no kimi wa. お茶を飲んでいる。The i s u is a chair. Suwata. The Lord of the Twilight, who was sitting at the chair, was drinking, or yeah, deru meaning drinking, was drinking tea. Perfect. Yep. Theoretically, it'd be s w a t e i t a would be was sitting. Here, just a, the, the man of twilight who sat in a chair, kind of is what it's saying. But、uh, basically, the same.、Right. Do you remember this kanji? We saw this earlier. I said, feel like making a sentence with it. It's,、um, I believe it's a horizontal. So, how do you read it?、Uh, we read it as yo. Is it? Yoko. Yoko. Hi. So, yoko does mean horizontal. It also can mean beside. beside. And our next context is going to mean beside. Beside. Okay, let's go read our line from the book. Kin iro no e no sue o isu no yoko no kabe ni tate kake. Ocha o non de il. The golden,、um, the cane with the golden hilt was leaned up against the wall next to the chair. Perfect.、Um, while, or Anne, he was drinking tea. Perfect. Nice. Do you happen to know this kanji? The kanji Gucci. Hi. So it's Gucci on its own and Gucci when it has like rendaku, which it does happen in this context. Can you read this word? Sode Gucci. Hi. So Sode Gucci is your sleeve, specifically the cuff of your sleeve. So Sode is your sleeve in general. So, the Gucci is the cuff of your sleeve. So, it's、uh, that area down there. Okay, so right now is our halfway point. So, I'll stop our meeting and I'll see you in two seconds.